Welcome to this video. Continuation of the former video. Too much paradigm right from the start? When analyzing according to consensus, there is a lot of paradigm right from the start of a very simple analysis. Already at this point with, relative, too many paradigms, the consensus hypothesis as it is, was, should need to be questioned and, as a kind of trying to be complete and scientific, new explanations and hypotheses should be pursued. Above all, the obvious, most important and best ancestrality markers should be checked out. The latter did not happen or happens as much as it should. Obviously, this not checking of what needed to be checked first, together with not looking for other explanations creates a high risk to never find the correct answers and to be confronted with an increase of paradigms according to the rhythm. 1. That science and research make progress. 2. The finds of fossils with DNA make progress. 1 and 2 made a kind of exponential progress and as expected consensus view and hypotheses were confronted with a kind of exponential increase of paradigms. For many years there had been claims that humans originated in Asia, this was based on and led to the find of a lot of fossils in Asia, amongst others in Java. Personally I think this hypothesis was in the direction of the real origin. Please do not forget that Indonesia and Southeast Asia fit much better in the Austronesian expansion and Austronesian expansion area and that these are proven with fossils and ancient DNA that indicated Amerindians as the ancestors of that expansion. For now this is the only expansion that is proven so abundant, also through fossils and ancient DNA also of plants and animals. I suppose here that the reasons these hypotheses were not recognized and verified is that the found fossils were too advanced, for the evolution theory more specifically the one based on very slow random mutations. This of course was and is not at all the ideal reason to not recognize, it is not an open scientific approach. But such a not recognizing of very important fossil finds should have been based on ancestral markers. Unfortunately, at the time of the finds ancient DNA could not be analyzed yet. Most if not all of these finds, extremely far and improbable to come from Africa, would be classified as Homo erectus. In my opinion Homo erectus, and the many finds of fossils were not considered enough and in fact neglected, the claim they came very early, in fact first, from Africa is never critically looked at, at least not by consensus. From an enormous list of questions and paradigms I present a few that I think could be descriptive. 1. How do primitives out of Africa get in Indonesia and behind? 2. So early. 3. Long before out of Africa expansion. 4. Long before African human DNA came into existence. 5. What makes 1. The African human DNA modern? And 2. The Asian DNA not modern and or not human? 6. Why is the diversity of the found fossil so enormous, especially so distant from the by consensus supposed origin? 7. Why are there so many hybrids, also in comparison with non or less hybrid humans? 8. Why do humans that only use stone tools systematically looked up mines, and are found, that are rich in metals? As you can see, I somehow question the not recognition of these supposedly too early fossils and I also question the assumption there were no modern humans involved. What I question here is the spread of humans, but also the spread of not humans and archaics. What I hypothesize and explain in detail in several other videos is, probably very early on, at and before the time of the first hybrids, Homo erectus, two million or more years ago, humans made some kind of use of hybrids, most probably created by themselves for exactly this purpose. The hybrids were used especially in mining, the hybrids lived kind of restricted lives, observed by guards, or were incarcerated close to the mines, at least on occasions in complex caves. In other videos I will call attention to, the most massive, supposed natural phenomena, that are enigmatic and not well explained, in the Americas and Asia in the location these two early fossils were found in the highest frequencies. In other videos I will argue that the earliest modern humans, and cultures, did not live in caves and certainly not in mines, had no need to cannibalize, and cremated, and even crushed the bones of their deads to obtain more complete or better cremation, and that this makes no ancient DNA of early modern humans will be found, nor will their existence be easily proven. Crushing the bones of the dead to obtain more complete or better cremation is typical for certain cultures today and in the cases of cremation even those in the Western world. Nevertheless I claim that all ancestral markers point to their existence and origin in the Americas, Indonesia and Asia, roughly in the Austronesian expansion area and on the Austronesian expansion route. As said before, strangely the ancestral markers are not used, not frequently mentioned and or their results not recognized. 
This is the end of this video. To be continued, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.